We are live. Let me refresh and we can be set. You can hear me. You can see me. Uh, refresh this again. Still not coming out. And yeah, looks good. Looks good on my end. Hopefully it's good for you. And today's show, November 6th, so many things to get into. And so many things have changed, I think, since the last live show. We had a uh, Halloween friends and family sale sale. Uh, the Miami Dolphins won a game, and of course, I'm getting the uh, messages like, Dolphins can't even tank right. They had to win a meaningless game against the Jets. Uh, my Lakers, 6-1. and one. Not only first place in the West, first place in the league. And Dwight Howard, looking like Dwight Howard of old. So it's been very, very impressive. Let's see who is here. Doug the Pug, can we talk about Marshalls? We have to talk about Marshalls. And it's been pretty rough. I mean, you know, but beyond rough, it's been dry. It's been ugly. Derek, Leo, Stevie D, reselling, adjacent, Robert, uh, Surf Fell. Hope I said your name right. Souls and Stitches, UGA Dogs, Shipley, Pest Solutions, Dapper Fanatic, True Win, Diana Ortiz, uh, Menace, and Patrick, JJ. Let me see. Still kicking at sports. J. Ochoa, Smart Money, Curtis, and Robra Sells, Brown Town Finds. See, Mercurial Venom, Robert, Face Tame, Hustle and Silence. What's up? And Mr. Hafapino. Uh, keep going. Joe, John, Ross, Shallington, Sonny, Jimmy, TBS Marketplace, Martino Finds, Cheddar Bob, Doug the Pug. And who else? eBay Joey, Flippin' Vintage, Texas Pete. Still kicking at sports. More people coming in. Uh, Drifting Sneakers, AZ, C, Pack 777, Flips Anonymous, and Daniel Nolan. All right. So we are, I think we are set. We have a lot of stuff to get into today. I know friends and family, we definitely have to talk about. And hopefully you watched the last video on friends and family sale. Really wanted to show you side by side, uh, you know, the comparison on on prices and how they went up. Some of them stayed the same, and it was it was a mess out there. But we're gonna talk about that. Let me see. Get this uh, on here. All right. Okay. Let me start off. Wait, where are we? Okay. Start off with uh, Halloween. Anybody go sourcing for Halloween? Anybody do anything exciting for Halloween? Uh, my dogs, they were pumped. They were Spider-Man and Wolverine. The pug killed it as Wolverine out there. And I didn't go sourcing. They uh, uh, they were chilling out there. I don't know. He was uh, Spider-Man. Wasn't having it on this one. Let's go to the next one. Opening. So friends and family sale. This one uh, says basically 5% discount overall. And even then, some of them weren't even worth the discount. Some of them are even cheaper now, probably even cheaper this weekend. Usually we have a better weekend after the friends and family sale. But I do think that this one was probably the most we've seen prices get bumped up uh, than usual. I mean, they do it from time to time. This one was bad. And it's only going to get worse if they're kind of like going through this whole app thing. Remember, no cards, no physical cards. And if they want to keep it this way, obviously their sales are down. I was talking to uh, one of the employees, and I think the first, second day, they're like, yeah, this we're not really hitting our numbers, and it has been uh, pretty dry. And of course, you're not going to hit the numbers if there's not even a real sale. And if you're just pretending to be 30% off, then of course you're not going to get that compared to bulk buyers You know, taking you know, 10, 20, 30 pairs at a time. That did not happen, especially in... Uh, my city, and usually we have resellers buying all kinds of stuff. Did not happen, so it was it was pretty rough. I see your friends and family is pointless if your outlet is trash. Uh, single use only, no multiple day use for me, and I got that as well. The weird thing is, it said one per day on the you know, if you read the full details, it said one per day. Now in my case, I tried it again the next day and they're like, it's not on here. It's not coming up on the computer and I have other accounts. So I was able to do that, but still I was like, man, bad enough. The sales, not that great. Now you're giving us problems as well. <laughs> uh, one employee told me night before they mark up everything, half a Pinot, definitely the night before. So all my uh, photos were from the day before 
um, so we can exactly see what's going on. So it was uh, it was rough. Okay, word of the week are sold. So how are your eBay sales? And you know, someone brought this really good idea. I never really implemented it back into the live show, and I really wanted to do that. So what we're gonna do is five items, and I picked them because there's different details in each. Five items that I sold on eBay, full details, how much they cost, um, how long I had them in inventory, what my profit margins look like, and the video it was from. So you can double and triple check all of that stuff. And so I really wanted to go through uh, five different listings. I want to do this and add more of this into the live show because, you know, the uh, sourcing videos don't have any of these kind of details. Very quick editing, going from find to find, store to store. Uh, so this one, let's go Phantom Vision Elite. This one from Ross. If you want to find that video, it's from the grand opening hall. And uh, 129, no box, obviously from Ross. No bag either, no dust bag. And size 10 and a half. Now, $39 came out to 43.28 with tax. Sold for 129 eBay fee 1189, PayPal 407, shipping was seven dollars thirty three cents. Our profit was sixty three dollars and forty two cents. Got it at Ross. Purchase October tenth, and this one I believe sold on oh, November fourth. So about uh, three weeks or so. Uh, so breaking down this one, we got some four other ones. Let's see what everybody says for. October, always tough for me. October was a, mer a worst month ever, or mer worst month of the year. Uh, let's see, Goat has changed the game for me from Patrick. Uh, Pags definitely want to see more of the sold stuff. And yeah, for sure, I think this definitely, uh, seeing this full thing will help you out, especially some of the uh, newbies reselling out there. Even if you've been selling for a while, at least you can see uh, the complete details on there. Uh, Red says, October was horrible for me too. Little finds, very little sales. What's well, considered a decent month for in-unit sales. Very slow, Cheddar Bob. Uh, for Chris, a decent month. Um, I don't know. I think everyone's kind of different. also depends on your area, how many stores you have, what are your goals that you're trying to reach. But just like Patrick, I can recommend going through multiple platforms. So I kind of put my like eBay, GOAT, StockX stuff in one and then all my Amazon sales, Merch by Amazon, Amazon FBA is kind of like another uh, different thing. Because that one, I get payouts every two weeks. So it's kind of different than this. Uh, see, San Diego hustled me last month. Doug the Pug. Uh, Tris, what's up? Zombies, no lowball. Uh, where's the B, a.k.a. first place? <laughs> Where is the B? Uh, yeah, he's first place in our fantasy league. All right, next one. This is uh, a men's Adidas box hog, special boxing shoes. And this one was from five months ago. This is when me and Ken the Hustlebee went to Dallas for uh, this one at Burlington. I found these uh, shoes there. So sold them for almost $90. Now here's what happened. This is why I also wanted to choose this one because I don't want this to be highlight reels. I want it to be real as possible. I sold these and right before Halloween, because it's October 21st. Now the guy sends me a message immediately after paying. And he says, hey, I got these for Halloween. I just noticed they're the wrong size. Please cancel my order. <laughs> and I hate those messages. And when that happens, what can I do? Um, I sent him the refund and PayPal took their money, which they're not giving that back from now on. In case you wanted to know uh, the refunds on the PayPal fees, so in that case, lost the $2.61, relisted this item, and I purchased it May 6th. It took forever to get $90 for this shoe. Um, I did get them from 20, not bad. 20 plus tax came out to 21.64. Uh, would have been nice profit there, and it didn't happen. And let's see, <laughs> got some order block them after canceling from Patrick. I still have one of those from Michael. Uh, DFW kicks October was amazing. Easy money. Let's see, slow but steady. You can tell there are way more resellers now. No low ballers from Hapapino. Um, I have some box hogs too in black. And it's, it took me a while to sell the box hogs I picked up. So got them uh, relisted. Let's see what happens and when they sell. 
Uh, PG3 NASA, this one for kids, sold for $90. I believe retail for this shoe is $95. And the reason why I also ch uh, chose this one was because they were $89 plus tax. Now, if you noticed, certain buyers are getting charged tax on that. And I've getting I've gotten questions on it. I'm still trying to figure that out for myself uh, when on how this tax thing is going to work out. I do believe, though, it is going to be a mess. I'm trying to prepare for tax season once that happens. And I think the next one is due January. So I'm doing it quarterly. Next one's January. I'm trying to figure that out. I don't even know if eBay even knows everything that's going on there with the tax stuff. But $89.99 went up to $94.60 with that. Purchase price $28.96. Here's the thumbnail from that one. It is a kid's shoe. Uh, PayPal 304, eBay 1284, shipping 739, profit $42.38, and uh, not quite doubling up the money, uh, but really good profit there. Purchased on October 14th, sold on November 4th. Um, see, if all says PayPal sucks, <laughs> uh, real talk, when can you get those kicks? What go free? Big one, uh, kicks for free. Uh, it's a good one. I think we are going to have a good 100K giveaway, though, that I'm definitely working on. Let's see, sales tax seems so random. It does, and I, I'm i trying to get everything set. And as soon as I know all of that, I can help you out. I can help you out, though, if you have tax questions on just PayPal, 1099, and GOAT. There's a lot of questions that go into the GOAT stuff. I had to contact them last year, go through a full thing to figure out what that was. Um, and yeah, it is, it is a little weird for that one. And also StockX, if you're charging that and that money's going into PayPal, you're going to see a big difference there. So, um, might have to do a live show just for that or, or something Q and a, cause I want all of them combined. It's a totally different story now. Uh, next one, Air Max Zero. Now this one, I don't remember the video. If I even put it on the video, this one was a mess. Air Max Zero, Tinker, comes with that cool little keychain thing on the side. Purchase price, uh, $54.11, sold for $80. Why did I sell it for $80? Because at first, I got it brand new. Everything looked good. And I sold them on GOAT, and then they came back. Why? Because apparently, uh, one of the shoelaces, which I didn't notice, and on the back of that same shoe had some yellowing that they did not like. They sent them back and I tried cleaning them up. And while doing that, pretty much this whole right shoe became yellowed. And I was like, I can't sell them brand new now. Um, I really just want to get my money back for this one. It sucks. Cause I think for go, I sold them for 140. So that money was there and it sent it back. Um, how many times I get things sent back? Not that often. But when it happens, it sucks coming from them and it comes back, especially a good sale. Usually there's no returns from that anyway. So this one was rough and purchased about three months. I would think I held on to this one. And then once I had to sell them pre-owned, it did take even longer. So I really wanted to show this one too. Like I said, I don't want it to be pure highlight reels. I want to show you things that uh, problems that happen uh, from random things that sell. Let's see, do you sh ship your go orders to LA? Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, New York people help me. Do you save all your gas receipts? Yes, I do. Um, I have full how much I spend on gas. I have that per month, the receipts, and even the date, everything for that. So I've had goat return shoes from Ross and Burlington for being used. Uh, that might happen. Like in my case, some things I didn't catch. Uh, this one was very, very tiny too. I was really surprised. And then I have some people that told me, um, you know, I've sold cleats without the dust bag or cleats without the original box. It went through. So I think everyone's, I guess, uh, perception experience might be different depending on who's checking the shoe, what they let slide. Uh, some people, uh, I think one of them, I sold Jordan 4s. Uh, bread fours and they sent me a thing said the box was damaged and wasn't even at least when I sent it off it wasn't damaged at all so of course you have to decide you want it shipped back or do you want it um, you know and send them a discount uh, extra 10% 20% if 
they accept. If not, then you can have it sit there on consignment or they ship it back to you. And yeah, uh, that turns into a mess. And last one, uh, Jordan One Flair, Serena Williams. This one is from the Ross, had so many pairs of Air Max 97. And this one I did find if you're in El Paso. This one was like the far west side store. It's a really small store uh, from Ross. So got it for $39. It is a Jordan 1, but it's more of like a tennis cut and tennis comfort uh, for Serena Williams. Has her logo on the back. Uh, sold for $140. So eBay twelve eighty one, PayPal four thirty six, shipping seven thirty three. Extremely light shoe, profit seventy two dollars and thirty eight cents. And the reason why I chose this one as well is because uh, on goats they're selling most of these without box are ninety five dollars already. They already tanked it. They kept undercutting. So just because on another platform people are selling it super cheap, dirt cheap, you don't have to go with those prices. You don't have to. Uh, match them, don't undercut them, go go to another platform, you can still price high. It doesn't mean that you won't, you know, you won't get a good sale somewhere else. You know, eBay had that really great great sale. We made way more than I would have on go, you know, undercutting someone at $95 or $90, um, or much they had it for. So um, there we go for that one. Uh, you promote pretty high. Yeah, some of them I do. I do uh, a lot more promotions than usual, depending on the shoe and also the buy cost on them and what the uh, so at least what the sold or what I want it to be. In this case, 140. So I had some you know room to play with, getting it for 40 bucks. Uh, let's see, where are we? Shout out from Vegas. What's up, Luis? Uh, Patrick, I'll be in El Paso next week. So Patrick, let me know. I'm usually out and about trying to source. Uh, let me see where else are we anyone out here from arizona accidentally forgot to remove marshall's tag a few weeks ago goat still accepted it that's hilarious uh, i wonder if anybody um i wonder if these do they remove it themselves or they just send it like that so i wonder if the buyer got it and was like phone posit 39 dollars marshall's and i paid 150 <laughs> Uh, how long did it take to sell? Sold November 5th, and I got it October 4th. So this is about 30 days. So uh, in the video, I took a screenshot yesterday. So about a month or so. Uh, let me see. Are you going to be BHS Fest? Um, I, I'm thinking about it, and I think it's going to be West Side El Paso. So, um, yeah, I think I'll probably go and stop by and see what kind of shoes they're selling. See what else I can add for the collection, even though I probably shouldn't. Weekend releases. First one, this one came out yesterday. Kendrick Lamar, React Element 55, multi-platinum, smash or pass for the collection. Now to resell, they already came out. You can already check that right now. Actually not selling that great. Uh, Kendrick just doesn't have, uh, I guess, his hype compared to Travis Scott. But in this case, it's, a, it's also React Element. But... Uh, Kendrick also has Cortez and other things like that. So this one already came out. Did anybody pick them up? Did anybody uh, for the collection? Maybe uh, Miami. What's up, Patrick? Two bucks on the super chat. So we can add that in. Uh, Smash for personal. There we go. Gritty girl boss. Uh, let's see. Do you do you remove the price written at the bottom of sneakers from Ross? Yes, I do. And you can use Ink Be Gone or Goo Gone. And see, been to local Ross, checking for good deals. Uh, sometimes still has original tag on it. Yeah, some really good Nike stuff out there. Nike clothing. Check that out. $14.99, $19.99. Kendrick has no hype beat fans. Uh, hype beast fans, I agree. Uh, React, thumbs down. They're super comfortable, though. Have you ever tried to try one on? Buy for the collection. Dapper Fanatic. Next one, OBJ. And Air Max 720, Young King of the Night, $200. And this one also came out yesterday, Sneakers App and other select retailers. And there are so many OBJ shoes, colorways out there. And how about the Browns? Sucking, actually lost to the Broncos. Browns are a mess right now. I like seeing that uh, Baker Mayfield, all the memes of him with like his little mustache and big coat and whatever. <laughs> It's pretty hilarious. Also, I like uh, Monday Night Football, the black cat that came out. So check that out when uh, someone did like a like a parody, the cat, 
it's a fo- like a football life. It's hilarious. Uh, anyway, you know, why are we talking about this one, OBJ? Now we're getting into it. Supreme Air Max 95 Lux. Smash or pass for the collection or to resell. Remember, these are $500. Come out tomorrow, 11 a.m. Supreme, just like you normally would on their website, supremenewyork.com. Trio of colorways, black, blue, and red. I know they're Supreme, but this is probably the ugliest, one of the ugliest Air Max 95s I've ever seen. I just don't like them. Let's see, pass, pass, collect. Hell no, not for 500. Pass, pass, and pass. Uh, go directly to jail, pass. It's a no for me. Burlington fine in six months. Might be, just like Supreme Tailwind. It's been out there. Supreme has really lost its appeal. And that's the thing, though. I knew it was going to, I mean, everybody knew it was bound to crash at some point. Nobody knew when or when it was going to happen. Uh, but Supreme definitely dying down. And just like everything else, it's going to go down and it's going to come back up and people are going to be liking Supreme. And I mean, it's going to be, it's going to always be there, always be steady. And people are, are going to have those, you know, diehard fans that are going to always want it. But as far as hype beasts, I don't see them, you know, as hyped up like they used to be for Supreme. And uh, collab was first spotted on Drake back in September. I remember seeing that. And now they're finally releasing. So next one, Air, Ma- Air, Ma- Air Max Plus 3. Can't even talk. Tuned Air. And this one, man, this is hideous. 180. And comes out on Friday, November 8th. So following an extensive retro run for the original Air Max Plus, Nike bringing back Air Max Plus 3 this Friday for its OG Hyper Blue colorway. The 2000 runner maintains a similar look to its more well-known predecessor uh, with tweaks like the new upper pattern, leather overlays, and large plastic cage wrapping the heel. Uh, (laughs) Let's see, anything? Run away, looks like an accordion, ugly. We can't even, no smash or pass on this. This is like, when are they going to DD's discounts? Like, forget the outlets and Ross, straight to DD's. Nike N7 2019 collection. And this one also comes out tomorrow, 10 a.m. Sneakers app and select retailers. So N7 collection on the Jordan 8. Uh, this one is uh, Air Force One Low and Jordan 8 Ops 4 Gray Suede Upper, colorful detailing, fuzzy tongue logo, liner and outsole, and of course the authentic Pendleton wool dressing side panel um, right here. And Pendleton, you get that little tag. So smash or pass on either one of these, Air Force One Low or the Jordan 8 with uh, Pendleton, the N7. That Jordan 8 is okay from Hustling Hard. Uh, what's up, Rembrandt? And pass. Ross, <laughs> Browntown finds pass. Pendleton equals sitting duck. And uh, Pendleton's right, question mark. Pass. Yes, they are. Pass and pass. Um, Jordan 8, pass. <laughs> I'd cop on sale. Low smash. Pass for sure. Operation retag. Ross bound. Mercurial Venom. Here we go, Jordan 13 Island Green. So not quite Hustler Hacks colorway, but getting there. This one, uh, Jordan 13, appears to take some inspiration from Diamond Supply Coast Tiffany. Uh, Nike SB Dunk Low collab. So black crocodile-esque leather and uh, replaces its usual dimpled mesh side panel. How do you feel about these? Lateral heel in place, customary holographic bubble. So you can see that there. Uh, off Hustler Hacks colorway. Pass. Yes, please. Smash, smash. Uh, smash again. A hard pass and fumble on top. Uh, hard to match. Like, it's okay too. Nope. Backstage pass. Olive Garden Mint 13s. Uh, no island people would ever wear that. Fire. Uh, smash, pass, hard pass. Ugh. So it's a little mix. More passes been smashed but some people are liking these i want glenn to rock these while giving me a shoulder <laughs> massage this guy uh i like them and let's see what else we'll have a pino saying uh pass just like smallpox blankets oh man 
Pass, Smash, and Trash from Zombies. Next one, Blue the Great Air Jordan 1 Mid Fearless. 130 Nike sneakers and select retailers. When they say select retailers for this shoe, I looked at the foot action map. We're looking at LA, Chicago, and uh, there's only like two or three other ones. Now, they're hardly, I mean, El Paso's definitely not getting anything like this. Uh, but what do you feel about them? I actually do like the colorway. Only bad thing it is is Jordan 1 mid, keyword mid. But they are, I, I do like the colorway, the combo, everything, the collab. Uh, red, blue, green, and yellow suede panels make up majority of the upper special logo representing the Los Angeles-based artist. Embroidered on Smash Fearless. Definitely Smash for resale, they, though they are nice. Um, 17 likes. Push that like button. I agree. Uh, let's see. Personal and Smash. And let's see. Buy for a closet. Would never wear. <laughs> That's from Paula. Smash from Mary. Crash from Drake. La uh, what? We got a lag? Let's see. Cop for resale. And let's see. I am lagging. Let me refresh. Make sure we're set. Are we good? Everything looks good. So hopefully we are set. Refresh, I did. Hopefully it's good. And I think that's it for weekend releases. So this is the one to get if you can, if you're somewhat in these areas. Here we go. Store updates. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Anybody in this area? And Fort Wayne is getting a Ross, or at least another Ross. Nearest Ross store, Kokomo and Elkhart and South Bend. And they're taking over a old Toys R Us that closed its doors back in 2018. And this is the developing story. We'll give you a more full report once we find out more details. Ross coming soon. Anybody in this area, Fort Wayne, Indiana, you can look out for that. And last one, Ranson, West Virginia. Marshall's to open up and announced Tuesday it'll open a new store on Sunday, November 17th. This one is pretty soon, so what, 11 days or so? New Marshall's. Only bad thing is our Marshall's has been sucking. We haven't seen any new good uh, sneakers. They've been in fall mode and seen a lot of boots lately. Uh, but Ranson getting a new Marshall's. See, Hawaii needs more Ross. And let's see, Blank is set to open old Toys R Us. All the Burlingtons have mostly been taking over Toys R Us. Uh, let's see, I own the little Caesars in Ranson. There you go, Sean. So many Ross opening, thinking of investing into one <laughs> from Patrick. Yeah, so many Ross is opening. It's insane. Boots and trash and NMDs, for sure. That's all Marshalls is about. Let's get into the power rankings. We are almost 30 minutes in into the live show. And last week we had these discounts at five, TJ Maxx at four, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington. We do have a new number one for this week. And which leads us to this nice giveaway. $40 to Ross, which is our new number one. This week on the power rankings. So hopefully you're ready with your answer. Let me get let me make sure I have my answer ready. I know I had it here somewhere. Make sure I get this one right. Okay, have my answer. Is everybody ready? Uh still kicking it sports Audi, Doug the Pug Audi. <laughs> Can't do this anymore. Uh ABC one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're ready. And three, two, one. I need the most listings on eBay from uh, highest to least. So shout out to Cheddar Bob, Ghost Deals and Deals, Heezy Sell Anything, and Florida Flipping for showing us the 720s, Air Max 97. We got some Kobe's and Kobe AD, a little bit older one in purple. So all you got to do, I need the right four letters combined, and you will win $40 to Ross. Now I can tell you that the first letter, the most listing, starts with an A. So if your if your answer does not start with an A, you're not gonna win. Uh, let me go. Lucky on three legs. No, I know a lot of answers are coming in. Let's see. Koo kicks. A Y. Oh man. Koo kicks. 
That's the first real answer we had in the chat. And he won. A Y Z B. This is probably the fastest ha we've had someone win this uh, when it comes to most listings. So, Koo Kicks, you have won. A Y Z B. We have 90 listings for the 720s. And then we have 42 listings for the 97s. We have 39 listings for these purple Kobe ADs and 28 listings for the newer, somewhat newer Kobe ADs at uh, $50. So shout out to everybody that uh, tried. This one was quick. Uh, damn, I actually got it right this time. Souls and Stitches. And man, this one was this one was quick. I was, I was really surprised. You know what? Next one, we're going to have to put six different photos we got to make it harder this one this one was a little bit too too easy uh rigged government controls of this kobe's are nice uh glenn what's gonna happen when you get two hundred thousand subs um let's see you're gonna get dizzy with all these answers uh i think you know i really appreciate everybody that watches the live shows because really we get up to maybe like 200 uh 200 range and usually it's the same, you know, consistent people that support the channel. And I thank you for that, uh, for being here. So even if the subscri subscribers go up, I, I don't think it'll be that crazy. But uh, we'll we'll see once we get to a certain point. But that's a, that's far away. Uh, let's see. Love the channel. Thank you for uh, for that, Gianna. Somebody already won from Richard. This proves the Earth is flat. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Shout out Denver to uh, Denver Co. Don't hate on those advent calendars. And let's see. A is cute. Yeah, it's a nice looking shoe. Nice looking uh, 720. So 50 bucks also from Cheddar Bob. Uh, let's see. Giveaways are cool. Content is the best. Cool kicks for sure. And I think um, I'm working on a couple of things I really wanted to talk about actually before we start the power rankings. Uh, everybody else that's in here. Let me see if I can. Where are we? uh get this out of the way okay go here remove okay a couple of things first just throw in there uh number one i am working on some giveaways uh if you guys already know you've probably already seen it uh jordan 11 breads are coming out in december i'm working on that and i do want to do uh giveaways for that i don't know i want to hit if we hit a hundred thousand subscribers during that same time too with bread 11s coming out it'll be a great giveaway for that and not only that next year 2020 um i have gotten a couple of things for uh i think i would say on these videos you guys see you know go sourcing and then we have a breakdown at the very end uh some some businesses some people have contacted me as far as like uh, sponsoring the breakdown part so if you see breakdown brought to you by squarespace or something like that or ebay or something then that's definitely something i want to work on have gotten con uh you know contacted contacted for that and i told everybody else before i'd rather have that kind of stuff coming from actual companies that want to do sponsors than taking money from like you know people that support my channel like i never done guides none of that kind of stuff i don't want to do anything like that but for that money to help me out for next year me and Ken Hustleby talked about doing, uh, you know, way more, not only the meetups, but in San Diego, we really liked doing the workshop. Also, we had like a VIP thing the day before. We have crazy ideas for that. And next year, um, we've talked about it, how like Miami, uh, Philly, New York area, I think is also a must. And probably Atlanta again, even though we did that one maybe like two years ago and um, LA again, for sure, which we haven't been to LA, at least doing a workshop there. So we're working on that, trying to get everything set up and doing something different. And I also have a really cool idea for the channel that would be way different from those meetups. I also want to give away the last one. We gave away Dymo printer at the, you know, the workshop, I want to do either demo printer and bread 11s there too, and gift cards and crazy stuff. So working on that. And I think 2020 is going to be huge. So a lot of things uh, to clear up and get set up. So, but thanks everybody. Appreciate it. That's really supported the channel and 
we're growing. It's getting there. But I really like the people that have watched this and supported it because it's not like all the other channels and to have the egos are sky high. Everybody knows everything. Everybody thinks they're the best. I honestly think that our community of like doing Ross Burlington Marshall's finds are definitely w way more supportive and have helped a lot of people out through DMs, messages, and trying to help out everybody else, especially when it comes to making more money, more profit, not undercutting for everything and trying to just help everybody else, you know, every, any way that they can. So flipping dollars, $10, smash that like, support the channel. Thank you for that on the super chat and uh, 10 bucks flipping dollars. And thanks for Patrick also for the two bucks. Uh, let's see. Thanks for putting money in my pocket from Mary. Uh, my high hustle. So grateful. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Breakdown would have been brought to you by Ross Shallington, but he's sourcing on lunch. Uh, let me see. Let me go back up. Or are we? I'm down for San Diego and LA. Uh, yeah, we got to do um, LA probably for sure. And someone said a Texas one. If we did do a Texas one, it would probably be Dallas or Houston. So um, your vids have uh, built community, helped me a lot of people on Insta, follow and learn from. Appreciate that from Shipley. And let me see, Glenn, do you double list your stuff on Goat? Yes, I do. So go and eBay for that. And let me see, go back up. Or we, someone said something. Uh, I don't know where I went. I don't know where the comment went. Okay, let's get into our, let's see, power rankings. Get this out of the way. Power rankings and DD's discounts. We got no tags on anything. TJ Maxx, a couple of tags. They go here. So activate hustle mode with the jersey. Winnipeg Jets jersey, $50 though. And Dapper Fanatic and Souls and Stitches. So ACG Nike gloves and the hoodie, uh, 19 or beanie, sorry, $20 each on these. They do sell pretty good. Uh, check that out. I haven't seen any of this at my TJ Maxx, either one of these. And that's it. We didn't have TJ Maxx. What happened here? Uh, Marshall's at three stars. And even then, it's kind of pushing it. Let's see. Come to AZ. We have Tres Lessons Cafe. Uh, let's see. Doo Doo Discounts. Souls and Stitches. YouTube channel. Check that out. And let's see where we go. Come back to Colorado. I know Denver. That would be awesome. Haven't gone, man, in a long time. Let's see. No more box tops. What the Marshalls? Um, I haven't noticed that yet, but I did hear about that, and I haven't seen it in action. Maybe that's what this is. I don't know. Activate hustle mode. Did you get a? Did you get a box top? Uh, Souls and stitches did forty four dollars on the phone posits. Premier seven sixty finds with that Anaheim Ducks. Are they still Anaheim Ducks. Ducks jersey, and let's see, 40 bucks on that one, completely sewn. Soles and Stitches, not the $14.99 or $16.99 that we like at Burlington. Instead, Marshalls went to the $50 uh, price range. Come on now, Marshalls, uh, 50 bucks. And flipping dollars with the Prestos in all black. These are clean, $50, uh, great money. I'm just glad to see something in here. That's uh, sneaker related. Air Max 98 Irish Fan Rock, $50. Ultra Boost Laceless in White, $60. And uh, Dame 4 Black History Month on clearance, $32 from Moon Merch. Here we go with the fire. Uh, Hustle Don't Stop with some of these uh, Salute to Service NFL gloves. But Cali Reseller and Premier 760 Finds. Lakers courtside showtime jacket 200 retail $40 insane anybody that has this jacket wants I'll pay you you'll make money you'll make profit but anybody has it um let me know but this is a pretty sweet jacket not only that hoodies and there was another pretty cool looking uh jacket it looked different than this one and I think people were finding them at Burlington uh, might have been a zip-up hoodie, I think. But in general, now that Lakers are winning, people are jumping back onto the bandwagon. Easy money on this. Uh, but, man, this Lakers team, totally different from last year. Um, last year was tough to watch. And this year, man, exciting. Six and one team. All right, Burlington. 
At number two, four stars, Vapor Max, Air Max 97, Cleats, Vapor Max Plus, and Kobe's Burlington and Ross is where it's at. So we're going to break these down. It's going to take quite a while. CDM flips, soles and stitches, thrifting together, soles and stitches again with the Grant Hill lows. So smash or pass on the Grant Hills. Now they are low. They're not the originals. They are $40. I know old school sneaker heads, Jake, know what to flip it. Uh, you know, it's going to come out and be like, hey, man, you got to pick up every pair of the Fila's because I love Fila's. Don't get me wrong. I love them, too. But I don't know if these are actually selling that great since they are a little bit different from the originals. We also have the black one here, $40. And uh, Romaleos, very nice. And this one, size 7, $20. And that's just a downright steal for 20 bucks. But even then, the black and white ones, I think they're at what? Here's at 24 soles and stitches. Also a great deal. And I think, I don't know if they're 29, 39, 29, I think is what I've been seeing them for. Uh, those Grant Hills with the Piston Starter Jacket, Fire, Stevie D. Uh, let's see, those are Fire Jake, <laughs> Dunk the Fuck. Uh, pass, do Fila's sell? Some do. Um, also depends on how much you're paying for them and what the model is. But really, I think the Grant Hill is really the main one that's going to bring you money because um, I don't see any like Jerry Stackhouse Fila's out there or anything else. And I made a typo there, 29. Okay, so 29 bucks. And I think even then, that's a great deal uh, for those. Uh, OGs are better quality. Oh, definitely. Uh, Resell Freak, who just posted on here. Uh, if you read the thing on here, just said that there's so many of these uh, Air Max 95s. And I agree. I've seen every Burlington has at least 10, 12, maybe even 20 pairs they're up there with those 270s that we talked about last week soles and stitches with women's jdi hirachi at 50 dollars. this one size 11 and also have the air max plus from uh, hustle to win and soles and stitches with just done legacy at uh 55 dollars now we're getting into a couple of bulk lots so iceman yo 20 couple of these are the Jordan in here. Also the LeBron's Cheddar Bob. Looks like some of the indoor or indoor soccer Metcons Kyrie's. We have Air Max 97, the Legacy again, LeBron's Romaleos, Bats, and Rams hats for Soul Cal Flipper Finds. Carolina Kicks got the oh, it looks like football cleats. And what else can I see? React in here. Next one. Thrifting Together, get into jerseys and bats. Thrifting Together, smooth sailing. Uh, kicks for flips with both bats and these Jordans. And I have seen these, $50 at my Burlington. Um, I did not pick any of these up. Five bats here. I also have not seen any bats. New York Rangers, uh, this jersey is actually pretty sweet. And a Predators jersey at $20. Stevie D reselling with cleats. I'm just glad cleats uh, coming back. So Vapor, uh, Mercurial Vapor Elite at Burlington. Beautiful ACC on there. And CNJ Enterprises with Neymar Mercurial Vapor. Size 10 and a half, $25 during Halloween time. No tricks today, just treats. Let's see, let me go back up. JDI just dookie it up. <laughs> Doug the Pug. Uh, Supreme Nike Tailwind Fords at Burlington. I'm on the lookout. We're also going to get into that. Someone did tag us on that one. Uh, pass on those Jordans, though, and see where comps are higher from RB Sneakers. Yeah, these Jordans, um, I've seen plenty of them, too. I think there's more of them starting to come out. All right, Ron23 sells. Romaleos again. Also, the Power Lift. Sin City Sorcerer. Uh, just a bunch of random finds in here. Looks like Romaleos in here. Some football cleats. Um, Air Force One, got the swoops, uh, smooth sailing, very nice, uh, Vapor Max Plus and Romaleos, and Air Max Hunter showing off the tats with some Kobe's and golf, I believe. I can barely see that one on the side. All right, uh, easy sell anything. We saw this one earlier with the Kobe's, very clean, very nice, smooth sailing with the 270s at $60 in a light camo. Uh, Faith Lopez, nice, $60 for Vapor Max Plus in uh, Active Fuchsia, size 7.5, 
two cool cat finds. Vapor Max at Burlington, two pairs, both of them uh, flying it. And I think they are $70. So here's the thing. Uh, smash or pass on these two. Now, I think these are the only two colors lately that most people have been finding. I think the only issue is the price being at $70. Uh, so smash or pass on these. Now, you know, of course we get it, no box. Pricing is a little bit higher. The good thing is they are flying it. I think it's gonna come down to the sizes you do pick up because um, I think some of the bigger ones might be a little bit tougher to sell, uh, but they are flying it. That does gonna help you out. Half a penis is smash. Uh, Ross messed me up. 69 for Vapor Max, size six and a half. I don't know what happened. Need a new pair for Kobe's to hoop in, Doug the Pug. And Supreme Tailwinds today at Burlington, size 10. Got them on eBay now from Menace. Congrats on that one. I've been on the prowl, been on the lookout, have not found them. All right, hacking the Matrix with that same, you guys saw that video with the Jordan 13 Soulfly cleats. Still kicking at sports. Look at this one. Never seen this one. And uh, LeBron Soldier 12 flies Arthur, 11 and a half, 44.99. He did leave one behind. Resell Freak, $35 for the Ultra Boost. Same thing for I Eat Golf, $35 uh, for these Ultra Boost. I mean, Ultra Boost at 35 is just a steal. 10 and a half and 11. Good sizes, too. Not, uh, you know, not monster sizes out there. All right, Clausy Kicks, Luck Ducks, and uh, Bam Flips. So this is our last one for Burlington, and it's kind of like the random stuff that we got one-offs here and there. Now, Clausy Kicks with the Supreme Tailwind. That one, like I said, I've been trying to find them, have not found them. I only see the other Tailwind, that white and neon green one that I think everybody has found. <sighs> this one, great money on there, um, Supreme. And then Luck Ducks with... Nike SB Dunk High Breads Mets, uh, Men's Size 11, $35 at Burlington. Never seen SB Dunks showing up. We've seen some of them at Ross, not seen them at Burlington. Very, very clean. I like that one. And uh, red soles and then black, kind of like a patent leather look too. And then these LeBrons really threw me off. So LeBron, Halloween sourcing win, Nike Lab LeBron 12. And I do think the lowest one selling right now was like at 200 or 250. Um, I don't know how much you paid for them. Size 10 and a half. And hey, this one. Stay on the lookout. Who knows what's out there for the LeBrons? Uh, but LeBron 12's wild. Right. Ross was number one. And they're number one. They overtook Burlington. Way more tags, categories. From foam posits, vapor max, cleats, Kobe's, Kyrie's, 720s, 270s, everything and anything is out there right now at Ross. So get out there. Here we go. Stevie D reselling. His kids out there finding the foam posits, Florida flipping, and mile high hustle. Two pairs of the same foam posit, kind of like a copper looking color. Also got Vapor Max 2019. We're going to talk about that one. And Chris Ramos 360 Ultra Boost Mid Limited Oreo. Size 9.5 at Ross. Only $50. I don't think anybody else um, has found this one yet. If you did, I guess in the chat. But this one, I've not seen um, any other Ultra Boost out there. That one's nice. And uh, Don Alphaclete says, turn up the heat, bro. Fire. There you go, Cheddar Bob, Operation Retag, KC the Cleats Guy, LP Cells. Now, four totally different models. So we have LeBron Mag, $55. I have mine listed. Haven't sold yet. KC the Cleats Guy got some, I think, the breast cancer awareness on uh, these. I don't know what the price is on them, though. Uh, LP Cells with the tennis. So Zoom Ultra Tennis, $45. I do like the color, though, black and like a neon green. Um, these should probably sell well, I would think. And uh, Operation Retag passed on them, but did find some Kyrie 3s out there. 
All right, Florida flipping and Stevie D reselling both with Kobe's and Kobe D totally different though, size 12. This one we can't see, but easy money on these purple ones. Uh, Bam flips on the Jordans. Look at that, $55. Jordan 33s are out there. And again, with the Kobe Oregon, uh, this one, easy money. Kobe AD Oregon. I remember these back in the day. People just passed on them uh, so many times, but this one, easy money. Getting into the cleat finds, soles and stitches, breezy finds, optimal kicks, two cool cat finds. I know Zombries were talking uh, on IG about the prices on, I guess, at Ross. I've seen some crazy stuff. So there was some indoor um, soccer that was literally the same store. One was 39 and the other one was 59 And I was like, what's going on here? And then the recent cleats that I found were 29, just like some of these. So 29 here, optimal kicks, 29 for soles and stitches. Breezy finds, we can't see that one, but 29 again for the Obras right here, two cool cat finds. So are we at 39? Are we at 29? Uh, I don't know what happened, why that one was at 59. Um, but 29, still not bad, especially we saw the breakdown earlier on. Uh, the shoe that I sold, I think, is at, what, 130 or something. So um, not bad. Someone did the old return switcheroo <laughs> from Rich. SoCal Flipper Finds. Maximo Finds. My boy Maximo Finds, $25 on the Nike Golf Premier Tour. Great money on these. Maximo always comes out with some random stuff that I'm like, man, what's going on here? And always, like, high money, really great finds. Don Alpha Cleat. Football and Air Max Plus, and again, Vapor on both SoCal Flipper Finds. Uh, tour Premier is money, exactly, from Doug the Pug. Smooth Sailing, Kicks for Flips, and Daily Hustle, a new Have a Nike Day. Air Money has made its appearance out there. So we thought we were done with Air Monies, especially the gold one at Burlington. We're not done yet. Ross now adding the Have a Nike Day. Uh, we have Air Max Zero, both the Tinker. We saw that one that I picked up, that it was yellowing, so sad. And kicks for flips on the 270s and the Air Max Plus. Cheddar Bob, Daily Fines, and Don Alpha Cleat, all with the 720s. $50 in the women's section. I do like that price way better because I think on men's at one point, they were getting up to like $59, $69. Uh, but at 50 bucks, I think that's great. Also depends on the sizes uh, you're picking up. This one is a size uh, six. I don't know about these, but hey, 50 bucks, 720s. And uh, anybody, oh, great girl boss. See ya. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out and helping out too. Anybody actually rock 720s? I've heard uh, Hustle B tried him on. He was super tall. He liked that. Only bad thing is, uh, they hurt his grubby little feet, and he said that they're super, uh, like, stiff shoes that uh, they hurt after a while. So if that's, if that's true, um, I don't know. But I need to get my own. I guess I got to try out for myself and get a pair. I sold those Aqua for 120 on Goat. I tried. Didn't like how they felt from Mile High Hustle. So good to see. Uh, B48 and 720s. Oh, man. Uh, have a being <laughs> Let's see, wearing 720 on my paws as we speak, Doug the Pug. So there we go. Some people rocking them. I got the blue ones, mad comfortable from Claude. So they're not bad. Maybe it just depends on the person. Uh, my kid wears 720s and loves them. Said they feel good at school all day. So Stevie D, I thought they were uncomfortable from J and A Beach Dates. And uh, 270, not 720. <laughs> and I keep messing it up. 720, 270, back and forth. Okay, we need to talk about this one. Uh, Joe Nunez and Electric Relish and Jay Minaj 3 and Dapper Fanatic. So I think most people passed on these. $70 of VaporMax 2019. So smash or pass. And what do you think about this VaporMax? So um, I found this VaporMax at my outlet. They went down, they were an extra 30, and I used that extra 10% off. We, You guys saw them in one of the videos. I got them down 
super cheap, all complete with box. I cannot sell them for the life of me on any platform. No buyers for these. And it's a combination. The colorway, definitely the model. 2019s do not sell as good as the Flyknit. And I mean, the good thing is I do have them complete with box. Someone helps me out, but I'm just hoping to sell them all next month, December. Somehow, some way, replenish that money, get into something else. And I agree. I mean, they're not that that bad on the color, like I said, uh, Antonio. But I do think complete, I think uh, without original box, spending 70 plus tax on these, I do think it is too high for them. And even when I bought them, I was like, let's try it out. But even then, they went down a lot by then. Uh, may need to return. Uh, pick these up. Sold them basically uh, locally for 115 That's That's good for local sales. I'll buy a size 13 off you, Glenn. All right. Let me. Th I think I do have 13. Uh, can you sell shoes without the box? As you can. I got some Vaporax Flyknit. They didn't sell. Hmm. Usually, I thought the Flyknit was a little bit better. Um, unless it's the same Flyknit ones that are in uh, the outlets. That looks like they've been getting the same colors at every outlet, at least that we've seen. Um, so that kind of sucks. Here we go. Vapor Max again. Actually, all Vapor Max. Flip the script. $50. That brutal size, 12 and a half. Uh, LA Thrifter Hunter. I think people have been picking up this one. I have not seen it out there. Size 10 uh, for ladies. $50 on the 2019 for uh, J Minaj 3. And uh, $42.99. How did this happen for this color way here? What is the size on that one? Unless it was a little switcheroo. But $42.99? Uh, that's, that's a random price, but we'll take it. How often do you stream? Only once a week on Wednesdays, same time. And at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Let's see. Ethan, I was very confused about my find at Ross for cleats. If they're soccer or football, check it out. What I sold. Uh, the second recent picture. All right. Definitely check that one out, uh, Ethan. And I'll take a look at that one. Let me see. Only seen size six, Jay Ochoa. And let's see. I'm going to go up. Have you done local meetups or sell them on offer up besides eBay or online? Um, I used to do a lot of Craigslist back uh, four or five years ago. Um, and also some on Facebook, but I haven't done local sales. Um, in so long. El Paso is really bad about actually meeting you somewhere and actually having money to purchase, uh, purchase whatever you're selling. But uh, local sales, definitely there's a huge market for that. Some people that do have, um, you know, really good buyers out there ready to go. Uh, too many flakers. What's Craig's lesson, Jay? Uh, local sales, Doug the Pug. Maximo finds. So these Air Max 95s, this is what I'm telling you, Maximo comes out with random stuff. Air Max 95 has that little crab right there on uh, right there on the tongue. And I don't know how much they're reselling for. I probably should have uh, looked that one up. Ghost Deals and Deals, Air Max 97 unboxed, $55. We saw that one in our giveaway. Activate Hustle Mode, Air Max 97. And I do think he left this one, right? Uh, $64, priced a little too high. Um, I did see this one. I did pick it up, uh, but I haven't listed them yet. So definitely got to do that. All right. Soul Town Kicks. These are still out there. The Zoom Rookies, size eight and a half. I would love to find these. This is also the random ones here and there with like uh, random things people have been finding. So Zoom Rookies, if they're still out there, pick those up if possible. Two cool cat finds, Vapor Max Plus and Jordan 11 cleats. Now Jordan 11 low cleats, $20. Um, I do think also District Deals, our boy District Deals, who I don't see in the chat, also found one of these and he'll be on the next live show uh, for his tag. So anybody that tagged on anything today, you'll be on the next live show next Wednesday. We also have miniature up tempos in camo and black $25 comparable value at 45 soles and stitches never seen uh, usually burlington comes out with some toddler heat but uh ross usually doesn't usually get like something like that those mickey mouse shoes 
Mile High Hustle. Kyrie Fives. These are EYBL. I've been looking for these ever since Mile High Hustle posted them. You should get great money on these. Patient on them. Pricing high. And, uh, yeah, there's – I don't think you're going to see too many listings um, on these as well. Anything – what was the other one that we found? EYBL, Kobe's. Remember that one? Maybe about a year, year and a half ago. Um, those ones were just huge sellers. Um, I did see one of them at the outlets. That was probably about like three years ago, uh, but it's been a while. Anything like that, you know, they're going to sell great. Let me see. Oh, District Deals. There we go. Your boy's here. Um, <laughs> too busy back door and tuck the pug. Uh, let's see, bro. Air Jordan 13 cleats are fire. You got a 10 and a half. I think I got 10 and a half and 11. I can double check. Saw those Nike outlet have a Pino. Got those up tempos for my son oh, at the outlet for my son. Nice. Uh, I like those up tempos. Poshmark has helped me out uh, a little. Can't complain. And uh, I bust some fools on the court with those Kyries. Doug the pug. Now we're getting into our hauls. LA Thrifter Hunter 97s, the Plus, the Vapor Football Cleats, Ross Shallington on his lunch break, his miniature lunch break, and comes with cart full of things. LeBron's, 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 and Kyrie's right there. Two pairs of Kyrie's, don't know, can't really see what the price is on that one. And then we have a bunch of Kobe's on here Optimal Kicks, Kobe's, KD's, Air Max Plus, and Romaleos. And then Tans finds. Cleats, Kobe's, and Kyrie's. Uh, posted my Kyrie's Giovanni for 700. That's what I like. And Tommy says, just got those Kyrie's today. Carolina Kicks, Ross Shallington again, Air Max 97 on his lunch break. Collectibles Beyond, 724 pairs. Got some Obras, got some Cleats, uh, Super Flies, and then three pairs of the Purple Kobe's, Hyper Dunks, and the Red Kobe's for Carolina kicks. Uh, Glenn, what's your opinion on Nike not letting military folks apply 10% for friends and family? Uh, I think it's, I think it's stupid really um, because they, they promote, you know, the whole military thing. They uh, appreciate military. And then you go, um, they even have the sign up there. And then for them to, de for them to deny it, I think it's ridiculous. Um, it shouldn't matter what sale is going on at the time. You should honor military discount regardless. Um, and even then, they had their 30% off, and it wasn't even a great sale for their friends and family anyway. So, yeah, they should uh, they should honor that. Um, I hate that they do that. Uh, did you see those react went back up? Yeah, they, they did for sure. You'll be fine at Dope Sneakers. Thanks from El Paso, Texas, from Nick. Um, yeah, they all went back up or back down. I should say they went up and then back down half a Pino still killing it out here. Making sure, making sure you don't forget about them. Half a Pino with uh 97, seven twenties. got some camo. It looks like pants back there. Um, also got the GDI go, uh, got them steel six, six, one Kobe's and 97s activate hustle mode. Kyrie's and hyper dunk low 97s camo. And then TDBS marketplace killing it with the cleats. Um, so great deals there and that rounds it out. So this week, DD's discounts, nobody tagged us on anything. TJ Maxx at four Marshall's at three Burlington at two Ross number one, which is for our giveaway and congrats to Ku kicks. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> All right, man, this one, uh, we wrapped it up right after 8 PM, at least in my time. So it wasn't too bad. We got through everything. A lot of tags this week. Almost like, you know, mini categories for Ross. We talked about a lot of stuff as far as friends and family discount. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And you can see the price differences from the sale and before the sale. And let me see. Dope show. Appreciate that. eBay Joey. And it's, uh, let's see. Honestly, Westside doing the best right now. What didn't pass this week going on there from Ethan. Yeah, definitely got to check that out. Uh, going to Ross now, Doug the Pug, Jordan Marlin cleats, question mark. Um, I did post them, but no, oh yeah, so no uh, buyers yet, no offers yet. I know somebody, I forgot, might have been Souls and Stitches. I know somebody said that they did post it and they got an offer, I think, for 200 or 250 uh, which even then is still low. We know they're worth more, 
Uh, but even then, you're not going to lose at 200 250 bucks for a $20 cleat. Uh, Victor, thanks for all the help. Appreciate that. Half a Pino, thanks again for the live show. Thanks for watching Half a Pino. Uh, Mary, so no, no sales yet on the Marlin cleats. Sunny, great job. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, Sunny and thoughts on Romaleos at Burlington without the extra insoles. Uh, I would still pick them up. I did pick up some. I think if we're all picking up the same size, though, I'm not really digging that. Hopefully, there's some decent sizes out there. Right now, I've only seen kind of the bigger sizes. Um, so I don't know. But without insoles, without the extra insoles, I still think you're fine. Texas Pete, you're the man. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see, Koo Kicks uh, videos are appreciated. You can tell from the comments. Thanks for that too. Uh, TBS Marketplace, one, two, three, four, twelve dollars thirty-four cents. Thank you for all you do for us, Tony. Thanks for that. Thanks for the twelve bucks. We'll add that on too for the next live show. Great giveaways. Keep them coming every single week for the live shows. And let me go back. Uh, how did South Florida cleats end up in Texas? I can't find them in Florida for the life of me. That's a good question. And why El Paso uh, getting multiple pairs? Because most of the people that I've seen pick them up. They got like two pairs, three pairs max, maybe at one store. This one store, uh, seven pairs or whatever it was. It was insane. I actually went back and I found another one this week. So that one will be on the next uh, show, uh, the next um, vlog. You'll see that one. Thanks for that, Brown Town Finds. Uh, like that video for Kobe's Local Ross, Doug the Pug, Cheddar Bob, thanks, Claude, uh, Baron, Caitlin, everybody else for being here. Uh, let me see, what was the other one? There's another question in here. Anyone else tried out Facebook Marketplace shipping program yet? Not a fan so far. Mile High Hustle, I have not tried it out, but I'm definitely now going to look into it. Let's see, Racks of them. Thanks, Phil. Uh, Hustler Hacks, appreciate that watching. And how long are you going to stream for? We're going to cut it out pretty soon. We usually go for an hour, sometimes a little bit over. And new to the Nike cycle, will money spent during friends and family carry over to gift cards? No. Like you can't use a 30% off and buy a gift card. Um, and we've tried it before, me and Ken. <laughs> they, they, don't, uh, they don't let it slide. Let's see, utility, 27 bucks, sold within an hour, made $35 profit from Ronaldo. Nice. And uh, there we go. I think we're we're done. And let's see, looking forward to hearing back from Richard for sure. And uh, talk to you there. Fantasy football advice. I can't give any. My team has a losing record right now. Okay, we're done. And the next one will be a Ross video. I just finished the edits. Ross video on Friday. I don't know what the video is on Monday. Probably Burlington if I can get that edited. Um, so two good fire videos coming up soon and check that out friday and monday so thanks guys again and uh we'll see you next week go out and get